Now they looking at my new fit. Rocking guitar on the floor of a Louis Vuitton store, and I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Riding the Metro, we booming. All right, so before this vlog started, I want to get one thing clear real quick. So probably about a week ago to two weeks ago, like, so basically what I'm talking about is the point from where my birthday video up to the shower movie trailer that random, like, it was probably about two weeks where I didn't even make a video. I wanted to real quick explain why that happened. I am a senior in high school. I'm in two college classes and five days a week I have work. I'm sure you guys already know that by now. Sometimes in school and in work, my life is so hectic and chaotic that I have no time to make a video at all. So if there's ever a time on this channel where I go a week to two weeks without uploading a video, understand it is because my life is hectic and I don't have time to make a video. Because sometimes when I'm watching a channel and they don't upload in a really long time, sometimes in my head I'm like, hmm, I wonder if they like don't enjoy making videos anymore or maybe they want to quit. In my case, that is definitely not the case. I love making videos way too much to quit and I just want to get that clear before this vlog starts. So enjoy. Monday, and I think today we should talk about vlogging and movie making. Alright, so we have my camera for photography class, and we have a can of spray paint for ceramics, but I gotta go to class. So, you guys are going in here, and I will catch you after class. Oh, hello guys. So I'm done with school, just barely got done, and I'm now headed home to change clothes, then I got work, and then we'll talk a little bit more about vlogging and movies there. Just pulled up what I need, headphones, my card to get in, and we are Gucci to go to work. vlogging so as you all know I would consider myself a vlogger even though I've kind of moved a little bit away from it now and to give you an analogy of how I feel about vlogging I'm going to use these tissue boxes as an example you start out as a vlogger with lots of ideas for what you're gonna film you have a video here a video idea here and then three more video ideas right here and then the more you do vlogs the less ideas you get so now we are only at four vlog ideas. Keep moving on eventually, you go up to three ideas, to then two ideas, to then you are stuck with doing only one type of vlog. I would kind of call it the vlog pyramid, I guess you could say, because this is how I feel like it has been with me for vlogging. I've started out with so many video ideas and then just gradually getting less and less and less to where I would say I'm about right here now. 
Vlogging is so much fun and I especially love vlogging because it allows anyone to film their life and show anyone. The reason why I started vlogging was for myself, but it's kind of turned in more to for other people just a little bit. I like to update whoever watches my videos to my life because while my life isn't necessarily the most interesting, I think it's cool just to see my point of view of the world if that makes any sense. I now have to vacuum 11 portables. <sighs> and that is going to take about two and a half hours. So, let's get started on my area. Oh, about making movies. much homework so much homework and about uh, one second later for you guys but about an hour for me I'm finally done with my homework so now we can talk about movies and when I mean by movies I mean like the movies that I make and I'm kind of comparing them to me making movies versus me making vlogging that's kind of why I wanted to make this video today so what do I mean by movies? Mainly what I mean by movies is a camera like this one that looks like this when you're actually looking at it. Um, making videos that kind of have like a storyline that have kind of like a, you know, a purpose to them and maybe a story that it tells. Whereas vlogs like this one, they're kind of just pick up the camera like in the moment, make this, make that. I enjoy making both of them while making movies I feel like is a little bit more satisfying. It's also kind of crazy to make them. A movie takes about four to five days of filming and then like a full Saturday of editing, which can be a bit stressful at times. Like the first movie I ever made, The Shower, which you guys saw on Friday, like while I was editing it, it was actually surprisingly a little bit stressful because I wanted it to come out really good. So I spent like five hours editing, like it was actually insane. Whereas a vlog, I can get edited in like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what cinematics I do and all that stuff. So why I like making movies is because it challenges me and my mind to like have to think of a story and then film that story and like find a way to bring that story into a camera. Which, don't get me wrong, it is very fun and I still enjoy making it. But there's just something about vlogs that I also really, really like too. The cool thing about movies though is they don't have that vlog pyramid as I previously said. They're kind of like infinitely like it's a it's a square your ideas keep building up and up and up and like the more taller you get you still have a lot of ideas if that made any sense so basically uh kind of to super sum up this vlog i wanted to say i'm still going to be making vlogs and i'm still going to be making movies because they're very fun but i also wanted to kind of explain like more in depth of why i make vlogs and my thoughts on vlogs and all that stuff that's all i have to say on movies they are very cool to make and very fun to make but and they're very challenging as well because you have to think of the idea, write up the idea, film the idea, then edit the idea. Movies are like four steps. Vlogs are pick up the camera, film a video, edit. So vlogs, movies, they're pretty similar, but there's still a lot of creative differences between making movies and vlogging. That's basically what I wanted to get at here. Roxy, what you doing? You were just eating some food, weren't you? So, uh, that is going to wrap up this. I don't know how long it is because I haven't edited the video yet. Sometimes I say thank you for watching this short video, but really, it actually came out to nine minutes last time I said that. So, I'm just going to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying to the very end. I mean, you're watching the very end right now. I appreciate all of you who stay to the very end of my videos because sometimes there's things I say at the very end that's pretty important that you wouldn't see if you would have left the video earlier. So, thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Outro incoming.